What's up guys, Joe here today for A Eterno and we're here at Monza, the home of Italian motorsport, the home of the Tifosi and yes, the Japanese maestro is back, Kamui Kobayashi back in the catering. You never thought you'd see the day, but here we are, ahead of the 2014 season and welcome to episode number one. So yeah, here we are then, and we're in the garage, ready for the Italian Grand Prix. And yeah, it's Camus' career. Well, he's back for 2014 in the catering, so I thought it'd just be appropriate to do a little series. It's not going to be really long, I'm just doing obviously a season challenge as we just go through the setup here. So it's just uh, a season consisting of 10 races, they're only 5 laps long, so the... Uh, the series is going to be quick, it's going to be sharp, and it's going to consist of five races where we just do a, a highlights reel. This is going to be the one of those, and the next episode is going to be a live commentary. And you ask me, why the hell are you doing this? And we're going to try and win the World Championship in the catering. Yes, you heard me correctly, we're going to try it from the back of the grid. I can hear you shouting, you are insane. Maybe I am. Let's see how we got on in the first race. It's Monza. Enjoy. Which of our rivals can bring home an early advantage? It's race time. Thanks a lot, David. You never thought you'd see that on your screen. Kamui Kobayashi, and he's in the catering. It will soon become reality. But now we've got four, five lights, and we are away for episode one. Kamui gets an absolutely shocking start. He's still actually on the grid. He might as well be. And as everybody is powering away into the distance, we are now just about to break. Everybody's broken about about the same time as us. But um, we are dive bombing it around the outside, and we have gained a grand total of one position. So that's a, a fantastic start, as per usual. But we actually get two positions. Wow, this is luxury. This is a luxury. This is as we try to get the slipstream on our teammate before he decides to break in one of the fastest corners on the track and everybody is breaking about 300 meters before you should and now we've taken P13 and up to P12 as we take Paul DeResta and now it's time for Roman Grosjean to feel the wrath of this green machine that we call the catering and yeah we start lap two obviously no DRS but we are into the DRS zone so we try and slipstream in it's really really powerful on this track obviously down the main straight and we go to game one and we gain about 5,000 positions and then we uh, lose about 4,999 of them we get Nico Hulkenberg anyway and now we're gonna get Jensen Button into the Curva Grandi surely as we go for a Vettel-esque move round the outside Surely it's going to come off, and it does. Kamui Kobayashi up to P9, and <laughs> nearly sending uh, Kimi Raikkonen up into the moon and the stars, but we get the move done somehow. It's P8, and now back at the Curva Grande. That's seeing a lot of action in this video today, as now we're about to take Felipe Massa around the outside. We go purple through the first sector, and we're also into P7. Sergio Perez is the next man down the road and as we actually do set the fastest lap of the race on the third lap we're at the start of the fourth lap and we are gaining so much time on him as we get the slipstream and that's nice as you can see the fastest lap appears up there and Kobayashi is in pursuit of his first podium since Japan 2012 the start of lap 5 after setting another purple which uh, means fastest lap, if you didn't know. <laughs> We'd try and persevere it around the outside of Mark Webber. This would be a great move, but he pushes us into the gravel, and that is surely Kamui's chance of a podium completely destroyed. But he'll surely want to get Mark Webber before the end of the race. As we go into the Ascari chicane, Kamui ducks it around the outside. Battle of the late breakers. This caterum has just about got enough to, uh, to, to navigate around that corner. And it's been a really, really fun first race. It's been so action-packed. We have gained a total of 17 positions in the race. And, yeah, I mean, it's just a great series to, to showcase some overtaking. As Lewis Hamilton takes out the victory. 
This is the first of ten episodes, probably only going over about a three week period. I'm going to try and probably get one out every other day. Kobayashi crosses the line in fifth place. And as you can see, he looks really, really happy about that. Who wouldn't be? And yeah, that is the first episode done and dusted. Fifth place then for us, as you can see, Hamilton Vettel and Alonso making at the podium. With Nico Rosberg, is that in fourth place? I believe it is. Obviously, that's how the championship looks. But we've got the next episode at the Nürburgring. That is going to be a live commentary. As we've got Caterham in fourth in the uh, Constructors' Championship. So we're now cutting to the Caterham garage, which should be very, very pleased. And they are. So, yeah, what a first episode. I've really, really enjoyed it. And um, if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to uh, leave a comment down in that comment section. Leave a like also. But until next time, guys, I've been Joe Wilkes. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.